you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What do I do? Just hold it? Yep. All right, ready? Hey, guys. Okay. Hello. Hi. What is your love language? Um... Wait, that's so hard. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> Uh, am I allowed to give the answer of the love languages are largely fake and a result of some weird Christian pastor that wanted to uh, promote fidelity in marriage? What is this for? The newspaper! Oh, it's for the newspaper. Oh, jeez. Uh, words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. <laughs> words of affirmation. <laughs> Probably words of affirmation. I have gotten good feedback on my writing. My friends have been real nice about, like, confirming plans and like keeping up to date with me and everything like that and I feel like they've reciprocated my energy in that space. Probably just like motivation from my friends are like honestly the best compliments just because they know that I can do it so it's nice to know. Yes! Yeah I was told by a friend that I that they really like playing uh, Summers of Catan with me and that I'm always a good time. Oh I love to receive quality time. I would say quality time. Um, I really like quality time I think. Um, through my friends, <laughs> I would say getting to do little things together, like even just doing homework or going to get coffee, those things make me feel loved on a daily basis and um, really make my days whenever they happen. Every night I've been playing Overcooked on <laughs> the Nintendo Switch with my friends till like 12 a.m. Um, I've spent a lot of quality time with my friend Levi over there. I definitely like get lunch and dinner with my friends, like weekly basis routine, um, and just my favorite thing is going to MP and seeing everyone. It means a lot when people like dedicate their time to you and when <laughs> they, you know, give you a piece of their day. Oh I feel God. appreciated. I mean, yeah. So I would say my love language is gift giving. Gifts. I would say for Christmas, my dad gave me this really nice vest that I love. Got a Taylor Swift like book from my mom, and it was really cute. I like to receive acts of service. The acts of service. 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 I've been sick the past week, and my roommate gave me a bunch of tissues. Yeah, when my earbuds started to malfunction, and then a friend of mine was like, I got you, I just have a spare set, you can have them, so... I, yeah, I really appreciate that. Well, my friend helped me take up a package to my room. I think that's an act of service. Yeah. The other day in the studio, <laughs> somebody let me use their ink that they already mixed up. It was a pink color for my name tag, and I was really happy about that because um, I hate mixing ink, and um, it was just like such a nice gesture to let me use it. Um, I think just like on a day to day, like I know when my friends go out of their way to like send me a text or let me know something or like just give me a little pick-me-up like it really goes a long way and it means a lot to me. I guess like my writers tend to get everything in on time. Yeah. Big, big act of service. <laughs> like opening the door for me? Yeah. My love language? I would definitely say that it's touch. I guess physical touch. Physical touch. <laughs> uh, recently? Uh, not specifically but um, overall it's generally a good experience I would say. Um, I've been given a lot of hugs. I really like physical touch. I'm a huge like believer in the eight hugs a day thing. I'm currently receiving like one a day. So if you see me like, I don't know, just like pull up. Okay, thank you. I'm leaving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's perfect. Of course. What's your love language? <laughs> Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah, of that course. was perfect. You're perfect.